Hey everybody, welcome back to This Printed Thing. My name is Mike, and I have a problem. If you've been watching my channel for any amount of time, you know that I do a lot of multicolor printing. And one of my 3D printers is the Prusa Mark 3S Plus, and it's connected to a Palette 3 Pro. Recently, Prusa put out a new firmware version for the Mark 3S Plus, and I recently updated to that firmware version, and it broke everything between the Palette 3 Pro and the Prusa. Now, to be fair, I don't know if this is just my problem or if other people are also experiencing this problem with this same combination. I imagine this is a pretty um, typical combination, the Prusa Mark 3S Plus and the Palette 3 Pro because the Prusa is such a workhorse and you kind of need some reliability there to get anything done. But anyway, in case other people are having a similar issue, I wanted to make this video to show you how I'm working around it. But before I do that, I gotta pay the bills. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop shop for basic or advanced PCB assembly and prototyping. They have a long list of products and services, including, but not limited to, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, and yes, even 3D printing. Step up your prototyping with parts and PCBs from PCBWay. That's PCBWay. PCB prototype the easy way. Now back to the show. So to demonstrate this problem, we need to first have something to print from the palette to the Prusa. And I thought I'd just have an easy model here. Um, we're gonna paint it real quick. So, there, so we got everything painted and just a simple little model here, two colors, nothing fancy. I'm gonna slice it. And we're gonna send it to the palette. So we have our Prusa and our Palette 3 Pro. Now, everything seems to be normal up until it actually starts printing. So I'm going to start print. I saved the file to the Palette 3 Pro. Select it. So we have our little ghost cat for Halloween. And so I start to print. Now it's gonna go through its little process of Asking for the filament, it's gonna ask for the black filament first. So I'm gonna get that loaded and be back with you here in just a second. So I got everything loaded. It's feeding the filament through this mess of tubes. It's gonna come out here in just a second. And then I plug that into the Prusa. And what's really nice about this is the Palette 3 Pro actually does all the control with the the printer so the printer isn't like I don't have to put the the file on an SD card or anything the this machine feeds all of the G code to the printer so we're gonna load this here and then I'll show you from there so the printer is doing its smart load thing it's got just a few millimeters left to go it's gonna start spitting out filament here as part of the loading process and there it is. So I previously had red filament, now it's got the black loaded. So we're done with the preload. I'm gonna just remove this little squirt of filament here, throw that away. And now we're gonna start printing and you're gonna see what's gonna happen. So the printer's all warmed up, ready to go. I'll remove this little string here. The Prusa goes through its normal process of doing its bed alignment, just like it normally does. Then it comes back to the front of the bed and it squirts that little line there. But then, it just hangs, and it never resumes. Unless we come back to the palette, 
we tap pause and then resume. And lo and behold, it starts printing. Now, again, this happened, this started happening right after the update to the newest firmware for the Prusa. So one of the things I did was I reverted back to the previous firmware that I was using and this problem persisted. So that's what makes me wonder if this problem is just unique to me, but because of this all happening, I wanted to make sure that if this is happening to anyone else, that you at least have a workaround. So there you go. And Prusa, Mosaic, if you guys are watching, you might want to work together, see if you can figure this out, or if anyone else knows what's going on or how this can be fixed so that I don't have to do this manual process, please leave a comment. And just like that, Halloween Ghost Kitty. So I hope this video has helped somebody. If you like content about 3D printing, please consider subscribing. And thank you for watching this video. Until next time, go out there, fire up those 3D printers, and make something awesome.